Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm by you checking in, man. I'm back with another exclusive interview with Hollow the Don. Y'all don't know if y'all know this, that ever since the battle on Sunday, there are really hardly any Lux interviews online and hardly any Hollow interviews online. But of course, your boy has the exclusive Hollow interview. I think the only Hollow interview is online is like some interview with him riding around in some car or some shit like that. I don't really know. But anyway, man, this is not an untold truth interview, but it's still very in-depth and direct and still answers a lot of questions. I didn't really want to do an untold truth because, you know, direct and rap grid, they did a whole six part interview with Hollow where they went over his whole career and everything and went through all his battles and the start. And, you know, I do that a lot in untold truth. So I didn't really want to give you the same interview that's already online and still relevant. So shout out to Direct. I support Direct and Rap Grid. So you know me, I'm always trying to give you something different. So I figured I'd give you like a road to Loaded Lux behind the battle type of documentary. And um, before I get into this interview, man, I appreciate everybody that support Unbiased Review, man. I started from my living room to basically being very well respected as from a blogging and journalist standpoint, man. I always try to give y'all the best material I can. So, um, and I don't even live in New York, man. So I got to make my way from, from Atlanta to New York and still get the kind of respect I get along with the other New York and you know, media people. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a major accomplishment that I take pride in it, you know, as far as myself. Um, as far as the haters, man, y'all keep me motivated. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's a dude, right now, watching this video, like, man, I cannot stand that nigga unbiased review. But... Hollow is my favorite battle rapper. I cannot stand this nigga unbiased review. But Hollow is my favorite battle rapper. I cannot stand this light skinned nigga unbiased review. But Hollow is my favorite battle rapper. So when you put out good material, man, you still force people to watch your shit regardless. I learned that, man. Good quality outweighs anything else. As long as I keep giving you good reviews and good interviews, niggas gonna fuck with me even when they don't want to. So I salute y'all regardless. I'm by review Hollow the Don behind the battle. Let's get into it, man. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the channel. I'm by review, support the movement. Peace. Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm by you checking in. Back with the man of the hour. Yeah, you what? know, man. The dinner no, don't land it. My fault to cut you off, man. I had to get that intro in real quick. Loyalty over money. You know how we do LOM clothing. You know, with the nice. I got that lean on me, Joe Clark. You know me. <laughs> it's been the earliest from day one. Now, we here for. I'm here for the UW event, man. So, you know, I had to definitely catch up with you. So, how you feel about this whole event? How it came together and just. Your, your mind stay going into this battle tomorrow. Shit, you might act, have to ask me how I feel about the event after tomorrow and then I'll let you know, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, as far as on UW side, but, um, you know, my mind state is definitely on that level, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, murder is the intention, you know what I mean? And I'm not going for nothing less than that. Okay. All right, man, obviously you're headlining the card, but uh, what, you, what you feel about the other matchups, man? Do you want to give any predictions real quick on how you think the other battles will go? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's an exceptional card. There's some top-level top, top level dudes on there, you know what I'm saying? Like, dudes I want to see better, and, and, I, and I definitely want to see put on a show, but I'm still not excited, so I'm just unexcited, you know what I'm saying? But... Like I said before, Cal and Surf is the main one I want to see because they got a little heat behind it. So Cal and Surf, Daylight and Be Magic going to be a bar fest. And O Red, the Hitman's unpredictable. Ain't no telling what they going to do. Hey, can you tell me when this, battle, when this battle actually began to transition to being moved? I guess the UW, because I think everybody probably thought it was going to be on URL. No, so. I got to ask Lux that. He, he the one that 
came and booked it over here before I even knew anything. And I just didn't want to make it seem like I was ducking because I could have been an asshole and been like, shit, y'all got to figure it out now. I want 40. You know what I'm saying? Since y'all done, y'all done made a, a, a bad, I don't even want to put it all out there, but you know, I had the upper hand to do that. But I still kept it logical, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. I'm not a nigga that's going to follow, oh, because he getting this, I want this. You got to be logical, you know what I'm saying, because it's a, it's a thing about being, being um, having low self-esteem also comes with overvaluing yourself. People think low self-esteem just comes when you undervalue yourself. You know, when you overvalue yourself, it shows that you're insecure because you don't know how much you really worth. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know your worth. Do you feel like you're the underdog going into this battle? That should look cool. Um, hey, definitely the underdog. I asked you that because uh, before your before your tweets about um, the whole pay per view thing that went on the last I guess month or so, it seemed like everybody it was just landslide that people felt like Lux would win. But I, I feel like now a lot of people are rooting for you. I don't know if it's. I mean, just the whole backlash of the whole pay-per-view thing. I think people are like kind of looking at Lux like he greedy. It was more of the not being on Summer Madness three. Like when they seen him drop the song about my money with Smack. Not about the big names no more because a lot of the big names that actually perform on the stage ain't delivering the quality battles and the quality you know performance that we looking for. We got dudes that's chosen the first round. They looking at this like it's just a payday. Another classic for underclassmen in love with passion. Mm. But I'm producing this booth when in front of glass. Take no underpasses to run it past us. Yeah. Someone's asking about some madness. I told him these questions you come and smack with. Woo. Smack him and ask him why when the fuck when he double backwards. Huh? Lux is a master. How can I hollow fill in the gap when punching, attacking rappers for Puffy was in the rafters. Yeah. Buster could fill the rapture. The glass splash off the chapters. Imagine me round them clothes racks. Huh? I'm the reason battle rap niggas could close racks. Who the code that? You know I love the art But will the art love me back And who I got in my heart A father got to do his part Been true from the start A soldier, I told him I'm gon' march It was him, Chico and Beasley Came to see me, that was March First one off the strength Just to show him the strength Wow, you want a mile off an inch I'm heading to the bank So you know I'm feeling fine Get your own paper, don't worry about mine If you see me on the block Then I mean I'm on my grind The only sign I'm throwing up Niggas dollar signs Cause I'm all about my money that's when the table started turning, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh, this nigga really is a money hungry. He's not doing it for the culture. We all, I mean, you know, he does do a lot of shit for the culture. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to sit here that he did a lot of shit for the culture, a lot. But this move is all about the pockets. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Let's go back to your surf battle real quick. I was in the building for that. Um, I actually thought Surf won in the building, but on camera it does look a lot closer. So I, I thought Surf won in the building too. So we can pretty Adios. <laughs> we can chalk that up as a as as a debatable battle since a lot of fans are pretty much split on that battle. Yeah. You seem to be um, based on your tweets after that. You kind of seem were you disappointed with the crowd and the, and the love you um, got in the battle? Yeah, I was disappointed because I you know. I ain't gonna lie, man. I made a mistake by expecting stuff. I usually don't do that, but yeah, I was disappointed just off of the fact that um, it didn't seem fair. I wasn't disappointed that they was fucking with him heavy. He's fucking with me heavy too. You know what I'm saying? But it did seem fair, like you know what I'm saying. Like my hardest ball got a same reaction as some of his eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I mean that's part of the game. Like I was a salty at first. I'm not gonna act like I wasn't. But I'm not salty no more, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, come on, my nigga, y'all ain't really listening. Y'all just really, whenever we meet. And y'all just like, oh, like one nigga in the crowd, I want to meet this nigga too. He was like, when it start to drizzle, ain't no, t he said, when it start to drizzle, you could tell it was a Durango. Oh my God. Gloves in the mask out the Jeep with that thing low. I know he hollow. But I pray I see nights you don't let that thing go. Lightsabers and some, you see a beam, then that thing blow out the Jeep and start to drizzle. They tell it was a Durango. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! He didn't put in subtitles yet or nothing. This dude didn't know what. He had like the oh my God, like on, you know how they do the, uh, the shit with the screening audience and they're like, cheer right here. 
Like he had that shit in his head. He's like, oh, right here at this bar, Michelle, my God. Here it comes. Here it comes. You can tell him, oh my God, it wasn't the rain, though. I thought it was a, like, come on. It was mad corny, like. Which, which is cool, though, because I ain't gonna lie, people have done it for me. Like in a big T battle, I felt like they overreacted to a lot of shit I said. Some shit I said that wasn't that hot, they reacted to. So it ain't like they only do it with surf, they did it with me. You know what I'm saying? But it happened in my home, that's why I'm like, they said Jersey in the building. They was like, oh! Like Jersey was deep in there, and I'm like, ain't no excuses, though. Let me ask you this, I always wanted to know this. I think before you went, and did your, your stint and went away for a while. You would probably looked at it as probably like, you know, it wasn't no mook and luck. So I think you were probably looked at it as yeah, a top man. battle rapper. Definitely. I, I definitely was. I ain't gonna lie. You came but, off the Hitman battle. Yeah, and, then, and that was, even though that was light, they know like, you know, the mics and everything kind of fucked that battle up. But. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. the way I got your brother to know it. I mean, shit, Joe Clark, she, she know I do my thing. I was glad this night that her sipping on the night train. Uh, I brewed her. I boozed her. You would have thought the bulls playing. Uh, I mean, I ain't know her. But when that D rose, she was like, dang. <laughs> End of the day, bro, that's how the game go. I can't be mad. You know what I'm saying? If they switch ties and they want to fuck with this person or they don't fuck with me no more, that's how the game go, so. Yeah, they, they definitely forgot like who that nigga was, Summer Madness one, and who was, you know, but that's why I'm here to remind them, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think the surf battle was to remind them. The surf battle was really just to like, give some people something while they're waiting, you know what I'm saying? But this is like to remind them like, nigga, I'm the best in the world doing this shit. Hands down, you know what I'm saying? Total package. What do I don't really be trying, bro. Like, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... Like, you know, I don't want to say that, you know what I'm saying? But I honestly only as good as my competition. Like, if I feel like I really got to be getting hit, that's why I hope Lux goes on. Like, my, my, my first round, my first round is fire. You know what I'm saying? My second round is so crazy, but it's not going to be that crazy if his first round ain't crazy. I heard you and Drake was tight. Turns out you're munching off the name. Pictures of y'all like dinner. He showed the public that he came. Well, he put it in his album, too. He said, thank me later. Take care. Then nothing was the same. Like, if he comes with a, a right first round, my second round's gonna be hot. If his first round is fire, my second round is gonna be crazy. Dear Lux, we fuck with your energy. But the way you cram your bars to some fans is frustrating mentally. Slow down. It ain't all about the punch in your memory. I mean, we like the way you structure your similes, but sometimes you run through them literally. We fuck with your energy, but we question abilities. Oh, what I'm trying to tell you, P.S. Don't rush your delivery. You know what I'm saying? And like, I did a lot of shit different. I'm only saying that because this is going to drop after the battle, right? All right, so yeah. Yeah, like, I definitely built my shit a little different this time like with other shit I don't do like tactics and you know do new shit cause I'm like yo no disrespect it's hip man it's serve it's good you know what I'm saying like they could beat me but they can't body me you know what I'm saying like Lux is a nigga if you don't prepare he could body you you know what I'm saying right so so with that being said do you prefer to go second tomorrow yeah I'm gonna go second tomorrow so, um, yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go second. I'm gonna let him go first. first. All right. Well, let me ask you this now. Can you can you kind of contrast battle rap like before you did your stint and how you being on top to like how it is now? Like, how do you? I wasn't how, in jail that long. <laughs> I know, but I feel like, like battle rap has kind of changed a little bit though, it, especially yeah. from year to year in a way. It seemed like. I mean, it's just the new fans. The new fans. It's like um. I know this sounds dumb, but not everybody should have an opinion. Only, only logical people should have an opinion. If your opinion is based off of your feelings and your emotions, you should have an opinion. You shouldn't base uh, uh, your opinion off of a battle because you feel like a dude is soft or you feel like, oh, I don't like this dude. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should base the battle off of, yo, this dude prepare for this dude and beat him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, people ain't logical. Like, I, 
I've never been a Lakers fan, uh, but I sit here and be like, Kobe Bryant's top three. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's one of the greatest ever. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, people don't think logical. They think, oh, fuck Kobe. He's a rapist. He's a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, yo, know, feelings aside, people know who the best niggas is. You know what I'm saying? People know who shit is, is difficult to put together. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know the difference, but in their hearts, they can't admit that because they got a certain, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's from Jersey. This nigga from St. Louis, he from my city. I got to hold it down. Right. So, you know, people don't think no more, though. So it's, it's more the new fans, honestly. The Summer Madness 2 turnouts, they really ain't did their homework. You know what I'm saying? It's like any business, anything you do, if you hop into it and don't do your homework, you're gonna look stupid in front of somebody that's been doing this for years and know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Somebody always sounds like they know what they're talking about until they're in front of that person that knows what the fuck they're talking about. And they're like, huh? Well, what about this? Well, did you know that this, this, and that? And they're like, oh, no, I didn't know. All right, well, shut the fuck up because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people don't make no sense with their, you know, oh, my top five is, is um, you know, and it'd be all cats that have been around the last year. And it's like, like, you can't make a top five of the NBA, Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying, uh, all the new cats and shit, it gotta be like, you gotta pay homage, you know, to the KDs, Bron Bros, Carmelos, you know what I'm saying, even though you know these cats is the future. So. I was trying to do my research, man, to find out when, you know, I actually asked some people in my Facebook group, like, when did this whole Lux Hollow what got the ball started in this battle? I was trying to find the first mention of a hollow Shut up, my dude on the can. It's the homie from Hawaii. What's you good, man? What's up, man? No. Chris, man. Nice to meet you. No. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize you guys were there. Oh, no, no, no. That's all good. You're on camera. You're on candy <laughs> camera. So I was trying to find out the first time who, who actually called who out and who, who got the ball rolling between you. Yo, and that's me. crazy you say that because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? My dude, my, I was on the phone with my dude. Let me, let me tell you what somebody told me. Somebody okay. told me that, uh, somebody told me that you might have like called out maybe like the Luxes or the Mooks or someone like way back in the day. But somebody said something did. about Lux did a, uh, like a poll on who people wanted to battle and you came in third. What's up, handsome? What's, what's happening? Okay. I'm sure you know, your, your name popping up, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling them, you know, <clears throat> you know, you done said my name a couple of times or what have you. You know, you done put, you done, you done put me there, you know, in terms of uh, controversy or, or, or wanting to do something with me. And here's, this is my thing, you know. I don't know if it was the battle with goods, you know. But I, I, I can't even say it was the battle with goods because even beforehand, you know, you had my name in your mouth, you know what I'm saying. So here it is. I done called you because you on a list, you know what I mean. So list. Oh, you niggas, I got out. Uh, you know, Solomon's supposed to be up first. Because I don't know the situation with Mook. You know what I mean? Then Hoffa, then a -Bird. We try to figure out because I ain't got Hoffa line. You know what I'm saying? So, you the only one that called back. We appreciate you, you know, calling back. You know, at the show. Because it's, 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 No, 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 no. This this thing is to death doors part hollow. Unless you take a match and you fall by the wayside, you know. Unless you don't own up to your name or something, you know. And hollow really be hollow, you know. If that happens, then huh? Unless you don't own up to your name or something. Who you? Oh, nah, you that nigga right now, hollow. Oh no, 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 hollow. Oh, 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 you doing your thing, baby. Do <laughs> you right came here. off the goods battle. You feeling like something, you know? <laughs> you, you the man, you know? Ow, ow. <laughs> you know, he me with that shit. Listen, here's the thing, right? You reached out to Solomon. You know, obviously, you know, he got some things to think about. You know? Making sure his next move is his best move, I guess. So when we get some word back from Solomon, and he it, it, and he obliges us, then this thing gonna happen. I'm hoping. 
I'm hoping, because you know, the people want to see it, we done took a survey, and this is how, why you rank, uh, uh, you know, number four, Hollow. we was doing this for two months, we will say this though, that the goods battle did come out a little after, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying, the survey was, was coming to an end. So, you know, we, we couldn't, it's like, you know, the Grammys when they putting the records up for, you know, awards and things of that nature. You know, you came out a little bit after, you know what I mean, the, the, um, the thing was set. But, um, yeah, you look real, you know, all right in, in, in the goods battle. And remember you, I think you yeah, were on the, the press phone conference. So my call out was before that. Yeah. But I don't know if people consider that. Because I called them out when I was like, I think I just battled Philly Swain. You know, I was on grind time. And, and I ain't gonna lie, I had a little petrol in me, you know what I'm saying, a little diesel gas. Because I just got a million views on Worldstar. I didn't know they was rigging them views. <laughs> I'm like a million people watch me? <laughs> I'm about to call Mook out. <laughs> I got a million fucking views on Worldstar, me and Philly Swain battle. But yeah, that was a little premature when I caught them out. I ain't gonna lie that time, but I, I did feel like I was ready. And um, you know Mook. Lux, I called out Mook Lux, Hitman. About to go upstairs, uh, Hitman and them up there now. But yeah, I called out Mook Lux, but I don't think they counted. They never responded. You know, it was premature. So the actual real call out, like when niggas was really popping and people knew, was, like wanted to see it happen, was his press conference. You know what I'm saying? Because after, I could give you the whole, I could give you the whole shebang right now. You mean the shebang? You want the whole shebang? Truth. All right, this is the last. I, I, I need something exclusive. I'm going to give you the shebang. All right, boom. I was supposed to battle. Lux called me out after Summer Madness 1. After I battled Hitman Holler, he did the press conference before probably, somewhere around that time. But we were talking behind the scenes trying to do it. And I'm telling them, like, bro, I just battled goods. And now I battle Hitman all within a year. I'm not about to battle Lux, who's been out four or five years. I'm gonna be straight up. I told him I wasn't doing it. Because I know his tactical move. He tried to call me out. You know what I'm saying? Right after I battle Goods and Hitman back to back. Dude, you've been on four or five years. Not happening. So I kind of dubbed it like I'm not doing it at all. I didn't even kind of dub it. I dubbed it. You know what I'm saying? So um, to be honest, this is me assuming too. Because... Ain't no fact behind it. I assume that smacking them gave Lux some money. You know, either like he was probably gonna get kicked out on his rent, he owed the coke man, something like that where he needed the money. So they gave him money. He was locked in for a battle. Cause if you remember, he has a blog saying aftermath and calico battle. He has a blog saying, Calico, I know you've been calling me out, but the math don't add up. You ain't ready. Solomon and, and Mook, you know what I'm saying? That he was calling out. He never said Calico. He was locked in. They already paid him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have no choice. He was gonna battle DNA. DNA was it was either DNA or Calico. Cause I wasn't doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a strategic player in this game. You know what I mean? All right. So pretty much, he's locked in. I go to jail. Cause I was gonna do it next year. Summer Madness too. I wasn't doing it. I think it was Armageddon or something. At the end of the year, they wanted me to do it, and I wasn't doing it. I ended up getting locked up. So they had to go with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because they had it planned for Summer Madness too, and they already paid this guy. You know what I'm saying? That's really why they battled. And I'm pretty, almost 100% sure that even though I'm assuming that they paid him the money, that's the only part that I don't know for sure. I'm damn near 100% sure they did, because there's no other reason 
know what I'm saying? Like they had them locked in, you know what I'm saying? And it had to be money they locked them in for. He wouldn't sign a contract just for free. So that's how him and Calico ended up happening. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't supposed to happen. Damn, it was another part of this story. I smoked too much weed. <laughs> Bro, it was another good part I had. So you so you mean Lux had an opportunity to actually what? battle DNA? Like he would he would have took DNA? Those were the two options. I can't say. Oh. I can't say. But those were the two options they threw at him, DNA and Calico. But um damn it was something else I had to tell you, bro. Um But I mean yeah, that's pretty much um the the first part I really wanted to stress is that me and Lux was supposed to go down at Summer Madness too, but he took money and he had to battle at Summer Madness too, you know what I'm saying? So that's why that ended up happening because like people people that know that been following this shit, they know Lux dropped the blog and said Calico, the math don't add up and acting like he's never gonna battle Calico. Oh, this is part two. This is the juicy one. Nobody's gonna believe me on this. I don't expect people to believe me. I wouldn't believe me. You know what I'm saying? But, and I'm also assuming here, so don't take this as a fact. When I battled Hitman, I told Beasley, and Beasley, I'm gonna call you after this comes out, because I'll probably forget, but I'm gonna call you. I'm pretty sure Beasley might tell me the truth. My idea, if y'all remember, anybody that follows me on Twitter and follows me, period, knows when I was battling Big T, when I was battling Goods, I used to always be like, oh, I'm about to write this eulogy. Oh, this eulogy almost finished. I got this shit put together, RIP. The services is coming, so-and-so. I used to hint at all that. So when I was battling Hitman, since I did the good shit with the deodorant, remember I did the deodorant? Me and Beasley was talking. He's like, yo, we got to do a funny blog this time. Blah, blah, blah. And I had the idea. I'm like, yo, since I always be like eulogies and shit like that, let's go to the funeral home and I'm picking out a casket. You know what I'm saying? Like on some clowning them shit. Like, yo, I got a body. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, right hand to the man, I'm not lying to y'all. Look dead in the, because I'm looking at you, look dead in the camera. I'm not lying to y'all. Beasley noticed for a fact too, and hopefully glad if somebody asks him when they interview him. I told Beasley this I did, and Beasley, me and him was entertaining it, and then I thought about it like, yo, hit man, my nigga, like, I can't, you know what I'm saying, go to a funeral and, and play like that, because some people don't play like that. And obviously I can't call him and be like, yo, hit man, I got this idea about, you know what I'm saying? We about to battle. We ain't talking. You know what I'm saying? But he's still my nigga before that. So I'm like, I had to think about it. I'm like, I'm not going to disrespect that man like that with a whole, you know what I'm saying? Funeral thing. You know, niggas don't play with death. You know what I'm saying? So I never did it. I assume now, and I feel like I'm damn near right, that Beasley gave that idea to Lux or told Lux, like, yo, you should do a blog. Because I, I don't think Beasley did it on no vindictive shit, like Beasley ain't that type. He just did it on some, yo, you should do this. You know what I'm saying? And Lux, I'm not gonna lie, he took it to a whole nother level. Cause I never planned on using none of that in a battle. I was just gonna do it in a blog with the little going, just how he went to the thing before he battled Calico with the funeral home, just how I was gonna do it. And that's how I know Beasley told him cause it was the same idea with the blog. Hello? Yes, thank you for holding, sir. I have Surreal on the line, she's gonna further this issue. Okay. Hey, Sharia. I'm all right. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm trying to ship a body from New York to Detroit. Yes, I'm from the funeral home. No, he's not a, not from the military. Not at all. Definitely not a soldier. So I can't ship human remains to, to Detroit airport? That is, that is correct. Now when you mean human remains, you mean like like the body broke up or you mean just in one piece or what do you mean? No. Is the one, the ashes. The ashes. Ah, so I can't send the body there but I can send the ashes. Alright, so walk me through the ashes process then. I, I, I'll do it that way then. All right. Um, is it is it is a particular date that I want to um do it? No, well, you can ship it any time. That's that's not that way. You can ship it within ten days. All right. So I I'll do the ashes then.
but now we party in the Spain. She said she see me in the. Hi. Hey. I'm Leon Jamie. Pleasure to meet you. How are you, sir? Love the weather. Hello. Okay. Good. <laughs> you want to take my picture? You want to do it all? <laughs> How can I help you? I'm trying to purchase some caskets. Well, a casket. Okay. Someone's passed away? Yes. Okay. And what about the funeral home where. Um, no, that's a, that's the thing. Yeah, no, they they, they have they have caskets, but I'm here. I'm just I want to get an idea. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some caskets. Oh, come it on. wasn't. You know. I'm a little confused on that. I must admit, because usually. Right. Well, you know. I'm in I'm in the vicinity right now because we just came from the airport. I was trying to find out how to ship the body. You know. Yeah. We well, need a funeral home to do that. Yeah, this is, this is what they're telling me. This, they sent me from LaGuardia, they told me to go to Kennedy, because they do the cargo, you know. Who's telling you that? That's what they were telling me at the airport. Well, where is the person who died? Um, Detroit, right now. But the, it, it, okay. it, 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 Give me your full background, because yeah. this is very highly unusual. Yeah, he was talking crazy. Um, it's just, this, is a, this event is going on uh, August 19th. An event? Yeah, some of madness. And so no one has passed through it? No, not not yet. Not yet. But you know, he's, he's, he's very ill. Very, very ill. So we, we know he's going to pass away, but relatives and everything, some people are here. They want to see him in New York. So they're bringing, the, they're bringing him from Detroit okay. in his state to New York. I see. Okay. Right. And then okay. probably will pass away Okay, here. That, That's understandable now. Right. Because we had situations where someone does pass away out of state. Right. Uh, so, for example, if someone dies, you're saying in Detroit is where he may pass away? Yeah. Well, he's coming to New York. So, in the remainder of his... Oh, his, I see. Right. So, he's gonna, while he's still alive then... He's going to be traveling to New York and stay here, and then right. you anticipate that he may die here. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so you can do yeah. that? Yeah. Oh. I can do that, and then we would bring the body with the casket to the... the yeah, because it's just sentimental value to have it probably in that vicinity. But yeah, I can see you probably doing a service, though, because, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They just want to have it in Harlem. Mm -hmm. okay. I really like this one. He's of the Christian faith? Um... I say that because it has the crosses on the corner. Right, 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 right. Well, I know he was, he was a God-fearing man. <laughs> Summer Madness 2! Let's go! Summer Madness 2, let's go! 51 to 6! Look at that! We yeah. want it, we want it! Don't say, put the gun shot! Put the, put the, put the gun shot! Drop that, drop that gun shot! Put you twerking, put the gun shot! Champagne ain't no face, ain't no name! But he took it another level with the whole um, funeral shit in his battle. Like, I never had nothing planned for the battle. So, I'm not gonna lie, he took it to a whole nother level, but he stole my idea. And and I, the reason I'm saying it here is because I'm not gonna mention the battle because people won't believe it. 
Are, are, you, are, you, are you worried about him doing something similar I tomorrow? Care. Freestyle about the coffin, and I'm gonna do what I usually do. I hope he does something where I can think of a lot of bars from it, and I might just come up with like a bunch of new material on the spot or like for that day. So I hope he does. That's why I'm pretty sure Lux is smart. That's why he didn't do the blog like how with Calico. Like he just dropped a picture, um, like me as a patient, him as a doctor on Twitter and shit. But like I'm not entertaining that. I'm gonna wait till he's dead. And I see what he's trying to do, and then I'm going to build shit off of that. But I'm not worried, bro, because you're going to sit here and think yourself to death about possibilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, that's not my M.O. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think, you know, and be, and be like, yo, what's he going to do? But that's not, like, something I dwell on. It crosses my mind, and I'm like, oh, he could do this, he could do that, he could do that. All right, fuck it, we'll see. How, how long did it take you to write for this battle? I can't say, because I had... I had, like, back when we were supposed to do Summer Madness 3, when I battled Surf, I had a round and a half. By the time Summer Madness 3 was close, I had two rounds. When it didn't happen, I fell back for a second. And then when um, he dropped the blog with UW, I revamped the, the, the first and second. Well, I would say I, I revamped the whole first, pretty much. I damn near wrote a new first, but left some shit in there. So I can't really say how long I've been writing because those them shits is like a year and a half old. Hold on, I'm glad I'm touching on a lot of shit I've been wanting to touch on just because it's a long interview. I'm glad you said that. People think I write like I was writing bars in jail. Yes, I did write bars in jail. Miscellaneous bars that could go for anybody. I can tell y'all the bars I used for surf in jail was um towards the end um strippers um. Uh, man, we can tell him for Billy. I forgot, ran up on him, stabbed him up, gave him a buck fifty and a funny thing. That whole shit around that whole, them whole probably eight to twelve that. Um, I thought of throwing the money. I wrote that idea and the only thing I, I added to it was the Suze Rendezvous when I got out after. I just made it apply to surf by putting the Suze Rendezvous. But I just thought of ideas like I thought it would be funny as hell to throw money and make it rain on the nigga. I thought of other ideas I haven't used yet. But I'm not sitting here like nobody's in jail sitting here. How could I write bars for Lux? First of all, I don't have internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I thinking about the, the Miles battle and writing bars? Like, I don't, like, how could I write? Maybe I could write some name flips or something like that, but I don't even know what's going on in the battle world. I didn't know if this battle was possible. I just wrote miscellaneous bars. I wasn't in jail. I wrote mad songs, freestyles. That's what I can do. But I'm not going to sit in jail thinking about it. It's already enough niggas around. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be sitting here thinking about surf and <laughs> Lux in jail. Like, oh, what can I come up? You know what I'm saying? I'm just writing bars. So I wanted to kill that story because people think, oh, he was sitting on a, a year of bars. And no, I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I had probably like 20 to 30 bars I wrote in jail. And the rest was just um, songs and freestyles. All right, let me give you some names. I want to know if you'll battle them. How much time we got before you go with some people? Five minutes? I just don't want to be rude. Because then my niggas from out of town, it ain't like them my niggas I see every day. All right, give me five minutes. Man. Then we'll wrap it up. All right, I talked to Organic. And, you know, he said he definitely wanted to get you on King of the Dot this year. Yeah, I'm about to sneak up there. And, um, you know, it was a lot of issues today with people trying to get across the border and everything. So, you say we're going to try to get you in, in the, out to L.A. or something. I'm not trying to get in. I'm going to just sneak in. I think you and Sharon would be a dope battle on King of the Dot. I used to want you to battle Disaster, but I think he's been bullshitting lately. Sharon needs to eat some more. I remember when I was that skinny. You should eat some more. What you think about Sharon? Is that a battle you would take? You should eat some more. <laughs> Sharon, yeah, you should eat some more. He should like... I don't know. Nah, all right. I'm not going to play because niggas not fucking Sharon. I can't joke. I can't joke. All right, all right. Nah, I've been fucking with Sharon since, um, I think a little bit before Battle of the Bay 5, because when I met him at Battle of the Bay, when I battled Passwords, no, I didn't know him at that point. That's when I first met him at Battle of the Bay 5, but, um, after that, I checked him out, and I've been fucking with Sharon, yo. He's dope. I just think, um, and I'm going to be 100% honest here, I just think his style is too geeky. It would make too much of a, like, a fun battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I would be into doing that, but as of right now, I'm taking my career so serious that I don't even want that on my resume. 
know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want a battle where I'm laughing and joking and, and slapping five with you. You know what I'm saying? In between, uh, those ain't the type of battles I want right now. You know what I'm saying? And I've done those, like, you know what I'm saying, cool battles, but I think me and Sharon battle would be too, like, fun, fun, jokey, joke, and laughing, you know? But I definitely respect them, man. I mean, I made it clear on Twitter, so it ain't like nothing new. All right, after Lux, what, what what's what's left for you to battle? You didn't battle Hitman, you didn't battle Goods, you didn't battle a I don't be believing in all that shit. Like, I do shit that you ain't supposed to do. Like, who says because I got to battle Lux, it got to be... You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't uh, go back to your last question because I don't think I got to finish my point. I'm not saying I would never battle Sharon. I'm saying the zone I'm in right now, I'm just going for all serious shit. That's something I would entertain in the future, you know what I'm saying? But as of right now, nah. But um, that's why, and to say that, to say this, like I'm not tripping on battling Charlie Clips after luck. So what? Like I don't care about the step up or taking less money. I was doing this for free. Doing this for the love, as long as I can still do this and people respect it, I'm doing it. So, I'm not gonna go. And it's not even about being Hollywood, it's just about, you know, this is what I love to do, man. I'm not gonna act like I'm gonna retire and try to get signed like that. That shit makes no sense and never worked for nobody. Everybody tried it. I'm not saying it won't work, but why would you have to stop battling to get signed? If your shit is that hot, you can get time while you're battling. And then stop battling once the deal comes. Wait, would you entertain an Aver rematch? Yeah, I'd entertain an Aver rematch. Especially, all right, I ain't gonna get on Verb head, I'm gonna let him make it. But yeah, I'd entertain an Aver rematch. That nut ass old head number two. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw one shot at him. That's my nigga, though. John John the Don, is that, is that a name you'll take out? At first, it wasn't. I'm not going to say now it is because of that situation. I mean, I'm still on the fence about that, honestly. Because I'm thinking, like, it just doesn't... If I could get clips, which guarantees I'm going to get more money for more views, why wouldn't I? Arsenal rematch, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's about... I can't just go off of the fact that, oh, I don't like this nigga. We got into it. Now we're going to we gonna battle and I think it, it would be a way bigger battle as it was before prior to the incident when we got into it but I still got bigger battles like Clips, Disaster, Arsenal that I could battle and I don't even know about Arsenal because Arsenal I know is going to try to get me to battle on UW and I'm not battling on you on your supposedly league we could get on that too your supposedly league but you're battling the day before in Canada why you and Mr. Fab ain't on the car we know you wanted to make it happen. It's your league, right? Why is, he, is he just a front man for the league? Man, I don't want to show Arsenal, man. I, I, my, I actually my do, first I actually intentions do want to told me to shit on him. <laughs> but the other side of me said, man, Arsenal ain't that bad of a cat, but he just be fronting sometimes. I don't like how he fronted in the Sharon battle. Like I said, I said I'm Lux and Hollow. I'm officially the smallest nigga in battle right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the industry. I'm gonna ride this horse into the saddle. <laughs> Money I get it, then I flip it like an acrobat. Never stand on my pivot, fourth and inches got to tackle it. For instance, Lux wanted 40,000. Hollow wanted half. I said, wait, brother man. <laughs> no hoffer, but then I thought about the math. And on the other hand, if I charge a hundred dollar general admission to two thousand motherfucking fans, yeah. that's a hundred forty thousand dollar come up, right? Yeah. Two hundred fucking grand. Yeah. Yeah. So I spent sixty to make two hundred. That's before the pay per view. That bitch Laura Tarsi that you love, with that type of money, you know the things that I can make her do. <laughs> Let's just talk facts here. I don't like how he lied about how much money I'm getting. He said I'm getting twenty thousand. That's false. He said he's paying Lux. First of all, if you're paying us, why are you battling Sharon for let's say fifteen hundred? If you're paying out sixty thousand and you're about to make two hundred thousand, that doesn't add up, Mister Big Money. My man, what up, man? Who brought this nut ass? That's daylight. Oh, I, I thought this man. nigga was daylight. I'm like, who you talking about? That nigga. Oh, you talking about it? I, I thought this nigga hit man was daylight. <laughs> 
cab about to go still. Yeah, you see me? I'm just going to see why they look so identity theft. Son, I don't know. 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 Yeah, you finish your Arsenal thing, we'll wrap it up. Oh yeah, nah, I mean, I'm just saying the facts is facts. Like, come on, let people look at the facts here. If they own the shit, why would it be battling Canada the day before? Like, come on, you're an owner. Like, 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 um, you know what I'm saying? Like, David Stern is not going to be playing football. Like, it's just, just think about it. Like, Mark Cuban is not going to be, you know, listening to Dirk Nowinski. Like, it's bosses. If you're a boss, you're going to be sitting at the table collecting your money. You're going to book your battles at your own events. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the best way to do it. So, and I hate to shit on him, but he lied on me. Saying how much I'm getting paid. Saying he's paying me. He hasn't been to one meeting. He wasn't at the face-off. Like, come on, Arsenal. Cut it out, bro. I hate the lying. And I would have let you slide if you just lied about yourself. You lied on how much money I'm getting, and you lied saying you're paying me. Like, that shit is not true at all. And people know, man, my record is clean. You can't go on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I done said shit without thinking and, and retract my statement like, yo, that wasn't smart. I regret that. I ain't never sit here and lie. You know what I'm saying? Never. Who that, Cal? All right, give me a drop. all the lies he telling about Yeah, but he don't want to tell what happened in Detroit. Well, I'm telling it tomorrow. Oh, what? You never said that out of it. The story's coming up. Finally. Finally. What up, man? It's your boy. I'm behind you. checking in. I'm here with Hollow, the Dinan and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into this untold truth, man. So, uh, this is just part one, man. We're getting into part two. When are we going to do part two? Monday? Monday? Monday is the perfect time. Let's do part two Monday. This is the day before the battle, man. Let, let, let them know what they expect real quick. Oh, you already told them the untold truth. So, anyway, man. Peace out. Support the movement. Follow me on Twitter. I'm by review checking in. I'm here. Hollow the dinner and on. We got to say something. Or I just yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that's good enough. On our way to Thai 101. I ain't never ate no Thai food before, but. Gotta get it in your life, man. Gotta get it in your life. You know, I'm from the South, man. We eat soul food, man. Collard Shoot, greens. Thai food in the South. Let me see that menu again. Oh, uh, let me see the menu again. It's good, bro. What up, man? It's Unbiased Review. I'm here with Hollow the Dime, fresh off the most talked about, most anticipated battle. Say it, man. You was going to say win, but you didn't want to be biased, Unbiased. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know it, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So uh, how you feel about just the whole event as a, as, a, as a whole, man? Not just your battle, but just, I don't really know what time you got here or what time you, if you saw any other battles, but what you thought about the whole event? Um, I'm not excited at all. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but um, I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to see him. Um, honestly, I, I literally heard they was on YouTube. The other, bit, I knew mine was on YouTube, but I didn't know the other ones was on there. So when I go home right now, I'm gonna definitely check out all of them. Surf Pal, Hitman, or Red. I heard Hitman did his fucking thing. Um, I might have been wrong about my predictions. I thought Red might have edged it. I heard Hitman won. If I'm not mistaken, I only heard that from a couple people. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. Um, Daylight be magic, I wanna see that joint too. I heard Daylight, you know, he did some shit. You know, he did some Daylight shit, you know. So I definitely wanna see it, so. But still not excited, but I definitely can't wait to see it. How you feel about your battle, man? You know what I'm saying? I was in a building. I, it's very rare a battle actually lives up to its expectations. I felt like you and Lux both did y'all think. Yeah. So what, what, did, what did you feel about it? Man, my honest opinion is uh, I, was, I was just um, disappointed in a lot of shit that I, you know, I, I, I'm going to be real about it. I, I enforced the time limits, you know what I'm saying, and it kind of backfired on me, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason I enforced time limits is because when he battled Calico, his third round was nine minutes. You know what I'm saying? But I told them, I made this clear to Lux and everybody, I said, yo, we're going four minutes, 
Y'all can let them go five, a little over five. I'm cool with that. But they were super strict on the time limits. Like they was cutting him off and me off. So that's why the third, I said, let's just go unlimited. But I'm gonna drop the dirty best blog, believe that. Cause I got, I might drop them, I might drop them around each. Cause first round, I probably got 12 bars that ain't get out. Well then I put a little bit of that in the third. The second round I had like 20 to 30 balls and get out. Like my second round wasn't even, I didn't even get in my, you know what I'm saying? I was still chefing. The third round, I started cutting shit out because I was chopping like, people don't understand man, like, it's very, very difficult to chop up a round, taking shit from the first round, putting it in between the third, coming back to my third, taking shit from the second, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think nobody could do that except maybe DNA and disaster. You know what I'm saying? So, so how do you really know what to take out and what to bring? Do you I just don't. be sitting there or you just be kind of going It's like shit the you got to think all on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I did some shit, I said and I'm like, damn, I should. while I was saying it, I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have said this. Because it was in the scheme. Like I remember when I said the Ray Swag shit, um, we seen three legends choke, it was pitiful. The third one is when Ray Swag did the move. That was at the end of my first round with the whole choking shit, uh, hospital bed, you can find another round with hospital bed. I said that right after that. So it didn't hit because it was in the middle of some something else instead of going with the choking scheme. So, yeah, some shit, and I forgot a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit. Is, is there any way I can get an unbiased exclusive? Can I, can I get one or two bars you one may have left out? Bars? All right, tell me about what? That, that, just that you may have left out. Something you think I might have talked about that, that, that I didn't say. Oh, what's just a what's just a bar or two that you forgot? You said you were gonna drop around. Just just give me just give me a bar or two that you forgot. See the, the thing about it is I don't want to still record. Oh, it don't matter. Yeah, the right. thing about it is I don't want to say bars that that's like plain bars that I'm gonna reuse that wasn't directed at him. Right. So I'm trying to think of a bar that was just made for luck. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, damn, bro. Was, there any, was there any more lines then? Shit? Or was there any more about uh? Oh, see, I can't. I, I was going, yeah, with the lines and shit, I was going to do that, I swear to God. When I was saying the whole, um, he completely wouldn't give him half, um, um, uh, holding lines, then footage, and cut throat, and, you know what I'm saying? Um, I give him a round, and if you lie in, then you never get uploaded. Then I was going to go into the, um, all right, so I, I just give you that thing. So then I was going to go into the, um, facts. My verb and SB battle outside. Oh, because the venue wasn't too spacious. It got overcapacitated. Fire marshals couldn't take it. Fans was looking for their money. Battle rappers were looking for their payments. He just looked out for Uptown. He made sure ice was good, then skated. Right now is the time when you could give us an explanation. So let's play Swear to God. And then I was going to say, Swear to God, you ain't run off with the fans' money for the New York first St. Louis. And then I was going to freestyle on whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? Like if he said something, if he stood there, if he was looking stupid. I was gonna play off of that, you know what I'm saying? And um, damn, I had some shit. Cause then um, the bars I did have written after that, I was gonna be like, but this time I ain't gonna say God gonna strike his ass. I mean, he ugly as fuck. We know God don't like his ass. I just cut the grass cause I had some proof. Ah, oh, see, I had so much I left out, bro. Yeah, your, your rebuttals was crazy. Crazy man, you know I talked to uh, Daylight. He said you was gonna bring a, a German Shepherd on stage. Bro, no, 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 no. And uh, me, then, like, then Jay Black told me you had a, a prop that he was supposed to set up for you. I want to say one thing. Howard Don had a prop that he didn't use in third round. I helped him set up and he didn't use it. Oh, yeah. He, he had a prop. He had a prop in third round. He didn't use. I guess that was uh, it like a board or a chair. Or it was something? like a. It's like, it's like an art thing, you put, you put the picture on it? Yeah, I saw that yeah. on the stage. I had the large picture, bro. That's what I'm saying, the crazy part is, if they want to say me and Lux is debatable, if they want to say me and Lux, and this is why I feel like I'm the best in the world, my nigga, because I made it debatable, or people saying I beat them with a 75% performance. You know what I'm saying? I didn't use 25% of my rhymes. I didn't get to use the large picture I had. My whole battle was built around the large picture. 
You know what I'm saying? I had, I had a, I don't know if you've seen it. I had a picture on the, on the easel on the stand. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I didn't really know what you was doing with it, but I did see it up there. But it was so many people trying to crowd the stage and get on. I think it was no way it was gonna work. Yeah, no let, way. Let, let, let's let's talk about that. How, how you felt about it? It looked like it was about to be a, a little skirmish on stage and the whole nine. How, how you felt about being up there and waiting? That's the worst thing about that one to me. Everybody wanted to be on stage. Niggas that don't never call me, don't never talk to me. I see them bad with they most of the time, and everybody wants to be on stage. And everybody want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just. Oh, I get some sweet sour sauce. Sweet sour sauce? Yeah. I know you're like, nigga, this thing's a Chinese restaurant, nigga. <laughs> but, um, yeah, bro, that's like the worst part of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be on stage. They, they fucked up my, that fucked up my performance. Right. Because obviously I couldn't do what I had planned. You know what I'm saying? And, and the other reason that I said that I am the best in the world, I didn't even... Trust me, I take countless hours putting these bars together, but I don't be practicing. You know what I'm saying? Like these, everybody, every battle I know be rehearsing their shit, especially the day before. And I usually do, but this battle, I try to challenge myself. You know what I'm saying? I left out spaces. Like when they started trying to play me, when I was doing the um, nigga, I could be you and you, you and you. Like I never finished that scheme. I was just gonna freestyle it. I was gonna force myself to freestyle it. But I'm glad they started hating because I'm like, all right, I could go into something else now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have to fuck. But I did mad shit like that. Like I left shit open. Or I do some shit like, I write some shit and be like, oh, well, I might take this out last minute. Let me see how I feel on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't, niggas ain't up there challenging themselves. They're writing full rounds and going to rap. Yeah. That takes a talent. You know what I'm saying? But that's not hard to do once you've done it so many times. Yeah, when I talked to Arsenal, he said you was probably the only person that can go in and out of their round. Maybe you in disaster, so yeah, he gave you a lot of credit for that. I really like. Have you I, ever, I have you ever choked? I'm trying to think. Have you ever choked? Nah, I ain't battle? choked, but I, I kind of slipped. Well, I, I wouldn't say I slipped on a word, but I didn't pronounce uh, a word or two right in this battle how I wanted to. But I think that came with me not practicing as much, so I'm not going to do that again. But I really the only reason I didn't practice my logic for it. Because I want my shit to come out more natural. When I when I feel like I practice and practice, shit comes out like I'm reading a book. You know what I'm saying? My, my actually my favorite part of the battle was when you uh, pulled out the, the note and then you said uh, um, I changed that when you said UPS. Uh, I changed that. The Russian the delivery. The way I was supposed to do it, I was supposed to write the letter while I was doing. It. Oh, you supposed to write while you was talking? Yeah, I was supposed to write the letter. Dear Lux. I should deliver, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna write the letter. But the only reason I changed that because I didn't know how they were, you know, how they would reciprocate, whatever that word is, how they would feel, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I said, let me just act like I'm reading. Like last minute I changed that, like let me just act. Because I had the pen and everything. You see, I, that's why I pulled out the notepad uh, at his round. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna act like I'm taking notes and I wrote some shit. And I freestyled that shit and changed it up instead of, you know what I'm saying? Like, never mind, I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and get on my own dick, but, you know what I'm saying? I don't think people be respecting the shit I do, though. I really don't. Now, I was with Daylight earlier today, and he said that he wanted to battle you. Is Daylight somebody you would even consider battling? Who's Daylight? That's a battle rapper? <laughs> I want to battle Magic, he was on the card. Oh, you know? he battled on that card? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. They like don't take this shit serious enough. He's more worried about antics than winning the battle. I want to battle somebody that's trying to kill me. I don't want to battle somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's gonna um, get on stage and get himself a wedgie. You know what I'm saying? Like, do some <laughs> dumb shit. Like, my nigga, you're gonna get on stage and drink out of a vase? Like, like my nigga, you're doing dumb shit. I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm not there for that. I take this shit serious, you know what I'm saying? And I respect Daylight as a battle rapper, and Daylight Bars is incredible. But he letting that antic shit get to him. And I told him that to his face. That antic shit is getting to him. Because he's thinking that's what it's about. All right, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm biased. We checking in here with the homie Daylight. I don't even know everybody's name, so. Maddie. Yeah, she, <laughs> was in, she was even trending on Twitter, man. That's just how big she was yesterday. My homie right here. UTK, University of King. 
at University team, whatever. And obviously, the man of the hour, Daylight definitely put on one of the best shows I ever seen. Like I be calling at this nigga about Everything. antics, but I, I must admit, man, I was a fan last. So night. all right, so you go at me about antics, but it's okay for Lux to bring shotguns in there, right? Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> shotguns, Black Panthers, posters. That's cool, right? See, this is why I hate y'all niggas because there's a problem when I do it, but he could do that. That's cool. It's cool. You know what? Somebody was telling me how that uh, that we're gonna do some little like picture port. Portrait stand, um, but he didn't end up doing it. I yo, you know, Hollow too. had another part in his verse where he is supposed to bring the German guard dog on stage, like a real one, <laughs> <laughs> like a vicious one, like and just have it barking. Like, I was like, that, yeah, that would have been crazy. But, you know, but crazy shout night. out to UW, man, definitely put on a good event. The stream, the stream was perfectly clear, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you heard this man wants Lux a Hollow neck, so make sure that happened. And, um, Check out her. I don't know what she got going on. But she does. She just fired up. She just fired out too. Yep. Got designer dresses. Hit me up. Wow, y'all gonna look matrix. <laughs> oh, what do you <laughs> <laughs> am I moving? Am I moving? <laughs> All right, man. I'm biased review. This is about winning the battle. You know what I'm saying? That's the main objective. Not getting views. I'm watching the clock for this too. Yeah, we good. But yeah, I don't know about that. Like. I always wanted to ask you this. What's your favorite rebuttal? You got a lot of good ones. My favorite one? Um, the awkward two. Chop this food. What would Hollow do? Yeah, I was in the H, listening to Chopped and Screw. I kill passwords, and I will, I will kill awkward too. I said, I don't think it's English the bird. He weak with the noun and flow lame with the verbs. If you go back to his name, it refers. He's just okay with the words. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I kill passwords and I will, I will kill Irish too. That was my favorite one. See, that the reason that's my favorite because people don't know. Some rebuttals, I mean, people know. Obviously, some rebuttals are premeditated. You know, he might say this. But the best ones, when you never knew what he was gonna say. Like you just came up with it on the spot. Like, how would I know I was gonna say something about you listen, you're a New York nigga that listens to Nas and Wu Chop and Screw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's an angle that I always thought somebody might come at me about, but nobody ever did. So how was I supposed to know Aquas was gonna be the first? You know what I'm saying? I liked your Philly Swing one. The one uh Call of Duty? Yeah, that, that was yeah, another that one that, that I didn't see coming. Y'all could believe him, I'm Coochie. I got the word in Philly. He sparked the Thule. He grabbed the M16, let off the Uzi. Shit, on Call of Duty. <laughs> that was probably, that's probably one. Right. You had a dope one against Big T, the wheelchair one. Them three? That's enough. That's what I'm saying. Those be the best ones. The ones that. Because if somebody, like obviously, if somebody says. Damn, they put too many vegetables in there. Obviously, if somebody says, um. All right, like the, the John John situation, and I rebuttal that. It's like pretty obvious. Like, all right, you knew people were gonna talk about that. You know what I'm saying? But if if he was to come in there and just be like, "Hello, I ain't feeling it. I fly over like a plane and I'm crashing and killing," and then I come with a rebuttal like, "Well, you fly like a plane, but I airline." So you know what I'm saying? It's like, how did they know he's gonna talk about a plane? You know what I'm saying? So those be the best rebuttals when you know, like, oh, this is just really on the spot. You know what I'm saying? True freestylers know. All right, let's talk about Lux as far as just, just his performance. Can, if you can, can you remember anything that you felt like kind of hit for him in the building? Or hit for Lux? Yeah, or anything that you really liked that stood out when you was like, oh, yeah. I remember them tight ass pants, though. I don't know what was up with that. Them Eddie Murphy raw pants. <laughs> I don't know what was up with the pants like, uh, nigga. Just cause you're doing a Black Panther thing, don't mean you gotta wear some tight ass pants. But nah, nah. All jokes aside, I liked it. I loved it. Like the lean angle is unoriginal to me, and it's corny. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody gotta have it. Gambling, sex, drugs. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gotta have it. But cool, he played off of it, but he had some dope ass lines in that shit. The um, lean, lean, uh, um, stand up niggas don't lean. I remember that shit being fire. Um, 
I liked it the shit because I just watched it back earlier today. I liked it the shit. Uh, he was like, uh, like so. Um, this is Apollo, the light model. When he fights Drago, like that whole shit was crazy to me. Like that whole scheme. And, yeah. um, I don't know. I, I I felt like some of his best lines came in this third round. You know what I'm saying? I just thought the angle was unoriginal, but some of his best shit came in this third round. Well, I know you feel like you won. So is it you feel like I two feel one like or three zero? Oh? Two one. Two one. Yeah, you give I don't him, feel like you give him a third. I don't give him a round. <laughs> you don't give him a it's, round. No, because it's like like you got to understand. It's like um. Damn, what bad do I think it's, it's like a battle where, where it's a classic and you think somebody beat some like alright, damn, I hate to shit on niggas. Hey, nah, man, you my ahead. nigga, man. I'm just using you for example. But I think Verb I think Verb won every round in that hitman battle. But it wasn't a body. It was a close battle. So I have to say 2-1, but it's not a round I could be like, Hitman won this round. I think Verb just edged every round. You know what I'm saying? It so, wasn't like... So if you if you have a 3-0 edge, you just say 2-1? Yeah. You just feel like 2-1? Yeah, it's oh, a 3-0 okay. edge. But nah, with the luck battle, to be honest, I don't think it was a 3-0 um, a edge. I think it was a 2-1. It was a close battle. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think um, if any round I would give him, Damn, it might be a 3-0 edge. I'm trying to sit here and be fair, and I'm thinking like, all right, the second round, I broke him down crazy. I can't give that to him. The first round was close. Like, I can't give it to neither one of us. This is how I'm judging it. The first round, top. Second round, I got it. Third round, I edged it by a little bit just because I was more original. And you know, with the whole, I, it was, mine was more memorable, bringing out Cal Pops, the uh, Hollow Be Thy Name. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you can remember is he talked about Lean. I mean, you can remember some of his quotables too, but it's not as, like, niggas is really like, yo, Hollow put out Cal's Pops in the third. Well, what did Luck say in the third? Oh, something about uh, Lean and not being solid. But niggas were like, you know what? <laughs> I was just about to say the solid march. Yeah, they, but you remember, like, somebody said, but you clearly remember, like, yo, this nigga with our calico pops, this nigga took us to church. Yo, that calico pops was crazy. Yeah. That, that shit was crazy. And, and the rebuttal. Niggas tried to hate on my rebuttal at the beginning. I'm like, how yo, boom? First of all, he planted people in the crowd to boom. He paid. <laughs> he did. I don't think he paid. He just planted people in the crowd to boo. He had chicks, and he had. I mean, my people seen it, and I seen the chicks that came with him. They was the ones screaming. You know what I'm saying so. Um, he definitely did some bullshit, cause that's kind of corny. But I'm not mad at him. But I mean, cause come on, you really gonna boo somebody on their second ball on the rebuttal? I forgot what the rebuttal was. I did the whole lean rebuttal. And then, I did like three with Butters at the beginning of the third. All right, all right. This shit good. What, what is that? What is that? Uh, uh, fried crab meat. I tell y'all niggas, get something, man. I got you. Nah, we good, man. We good. All right, let's talk about, uh, what I want to talk about next. Before the Lux let's battle. Let's talk about Fast Trail and Lux video. And everybody got Sprite, pink Sprites, they pulling up, but I'm the bad guy. Oh, for real? <laughs> but I'm the bad guy, but everybody in your video sipping and it's cool, but it's all good. That just didn't make no sense. I'm the bad guy, because I like to get high. I honestly thought Lux might come a little bit more like he did in the Miles battle and actually punch more. Yo, I was saying if Lux came out like, what up, boy? What's good, man? Chilling, man. What's up, man? I'm chilling. I'm about to finish this up right now. Oh, for sure. Sorry. I'm saying two interviews at once, man. You know, too much. I ain't mad at Yeah, nah. Um, if he came with the shit like. Oh, they talking about I ain't. Fuck that. I'm on the, and just cut all that preacher shit out and was like, I'm on my gun shit. You know what I'm saying? And just, they didn't even have to spit gun balls. It just had to be like hard. You know what I'm saying? When I saw the guns and a militant look. I thought, oh, he ain't gonna do the preacher tonight. He gonna, he gonna come gun bars a little bit more. Crazy, right? Yeah, what up? I think, I mean, you know, you can see, you, you want you somebody that can adapt up. in a lot of ways, so you probably would have adjusted to it, but I think it would have fucked up the average. Let me tell you what I did. 
All right, I want to say two things. This way he fucked up at. He should have applied that Black Panther shit more into the battle. And since that was the theme, I would have had niggas cracking the shotguns. You know what I'm saying? Pointing it at him. I would have took it to the, you know what I'm saying? To the highest level. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think he should have incorporated that more. Um, I had something else to say, but I, I guess I forgot. <laughs> Else to say. Nah, but yeah, he definitely should have incorporated that more. You know what I'm saying? And in, in, in his rounds and shit. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say. So boom. Nigga takes an hour to hit the stage. Remember? He's taking yeah. dumb long. Shout out my nigga Calico. Cause I'm just so tight. I'm you know all type of shit running through my head. Cal's like, bro, he's doing something. I was like, you know what? You motherfucking right. Nigga, I run out the back door, boom. Go to the front. I see all these niggas setting up. I got the pictures and all that. I ain't put them on Instagram yet. But I see all these niggas um, with the shot. He got the whole... So I'm just sitting there with him like, yo, y'all gonna hurry the fuck up and come in or not? I'm taking pictures with the niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm clowning him, and I fucked up his whole entrance because I walked in with him. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, I walked I didn't, in I didn't with him. See you walked in with him? I was right next to him. <laughs> When he walked in, I was right next to him. You know what I'm saying? Wow. When he walked in and they all stood there towards the back and they had the cameras on him. Dog, right the stage was so him. crazy, dog. I probably didn't even see you leave the stage. Cause I saw you around, I saw like LOM nigga jumping down yeah. and shit. I That's why I got tight. That's why I was upset because it's like, how y'all gonna say clear the stage and tell my people to get off the stage? I got my side, he got his side. Why my people gotta clear the stage? So he can hit the stage and have his whole people come and then my people squeeze through and Nah, we not doing that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I hated to get unprofessional, but I'm like, nah, we not doing that. You know what I'm saying? We not doing that. Well, let me wrap this up, man. I appreciate it. Let me ask you one more thing, though. Before the Lux battle, what was your uh, what was your hardest battle, you think, before the Lux battle? The a -verb. A -verb joint? Yeah. That was definitely dope. Okay. What yeah. you got going on, man? LOM Music, LOM Clothing, let them yeah, know. Yeah, LOMclothing.com, man, is the website. Um, that's where it's at, man. People asking me, uh, do I get paid and, and still do the other website? I mean, it's still up, but I'm, I don't have nothing to do with it. I don't get paid. This is what I run, LOMclothing.com. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want something that I got my hands on. If people supporting it for me, then come to LOM Clothing. If you support and um, just if you like the shirts on L uh, Loyalty Over Money, then go to Loyalty Over Money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? You can support whatever. But this is mine, L O M Clothing. I let them rock, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty Over Money in, in London. Here, you know what it is. Hollow the Dawn, L O M Loyalty Over Money. Unbiased review, man.